Hey everyone, this is Julia from Crocoblock, and in this tutorial, I'll teach you how to embed a video into a listing grid using the iframe code. In case you are new to our channel, make sure you are subscribed, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. And now, let's take a look at what you might need for this tutorial. Of course, a Jet Engine plugin installed, a CPT created, and a video or a song you want to add to a certain post. And by the way, we have a written guide with all the needed information like detailed steps as well as the codes I will be using in this video. The link will be available in the description box. First of all, open the needed CPT. For that, go to Jet Engine, Post Types. Check if you have a meta field for embedded media, and if not, create one. Fill in all the fields and make sure to set text area as a field type. This way you can create a field for a video and a song. Once the customization is done, click on the Update Post Type button. Proceed to the CPT post and complete the newly created meta field with embeds where needed. So that's my CPT properties. And right now I will open this post and insert the code from YouTube for a video and the code from Spotify for a song. Don't forget to update the post and here goes the next step. We need to allow the attributes for the input display and there are two ways to do that. The first option is to paste the code directly to the WordPress theme editor. Go to Appearance, Theme Editor, choose the WordPress theme you're currently using, then open its functions.php file and paste the following code. Of course, you can type in the required attributes that have been used in the embed. So, I have deleted type and ID attributes and added other ones presented in the embed. If you want to embed something else besides the iframe, just change the iframe value. Don't forget to update the file and there is a second option. You can use the Code Snippets plugin or any other similar one. Simply click on the Snippets tab on the WordPress dashboard, push the Add New button to open the Code Editor. Now paste the same code in the available fields and change the values to those you need. Scroll down a bit and click the Save Changes and Activate button. The last step is to display the embed. Navigate to the page that represents the one you have the iframe code added. For example, a single page of the CPT. Add the dynamic field widget to the page. Set the metadata option as the source and select the needed meta field. In my case, it is embed video. Now I will duplicate the widget and select embed song for the second one. Let's check how it looks on the front end. Here is a YouTube video. And a song from Spotify. 
By the way, if you want to adjust the widgets with, just go to the Style tab. Under the Field, find Field Content Width and set it to Full Width. OK, it looks better now. I have one more option for those of you who want to have a meta field presented with the repeater field type. So go to the CPT or meta box. And add a repeater field type. Once the primary values are set, click the New Repeater Field button. Add the needed amount of text area fields and complete the required label, name, and type fields. OK. Open the CPT post. and find the repeater meta field you have just added. Insert the embeds into the needed fields. Now go back to the page editor. And place the dynamic repeater widget. Select the created repeater as the source. Now I will also change the default name value into son that represents the repeater field value. Of course, don't forget to style the widget and change its direction, alignment, and so on. And here is the final result. Both sons are displayed correctly. If you don't like the size of the player, adjust it either in the Style tab or open the post with the code and set its width and height right here. And there you go. Moreover, you can create a listing grid with embeds. Simply add the dynamic field widget to a listing template and set it up using the same approach. Now you know how to embed inputs with any needed attributes. And this will be it for today's tutorial. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it and make sure you are subscribed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.